Gold has always been seen as the ultimate symbol of wealth, power, and endurance. For centuries, men have gone to impossible lengths to extract it, from diving deep into mountain tunnels, to washing entire rivers with heavy pans, to melting stone with complex chemicals. Yet what if I told you that long before modern tools, long before mercury, cyanide, and machines, nature itself had already written the script? Hidden in the folds of rock and soil, written by wind, water, heat, and pressure, lies a method, an ancient forgotten way to extract real gold without a single tool in hand. And if you listen closely to the earth, you can still use it today. The first clue comes from water. Flowing rivers, even without pans or sieves, act as natural refiners. For millions of years, water has been the tool that never sleeps. It moves relentlessly, carrying sand and stones, and separating light from heavy. In the quiet bends of a stream, gold collects where water slows, settling beneath layers of sand. Without lifting a hand, you can already find gold simply by watching where nature drops it. It lies hidden beneath black sands, deep in the crevices of rocks, and even along the edges of gravel bars. This isn't chance. It's gravity at work, constantly sorting materials without any human tool. The secret is knowing where to look. And once you see the shimmer, you realize that nature has been panning gold for you all along. Yet water alone is only half the method. The other great tool is fire. Imagine lightning striking a dry hillside, a wildfire raging through forests, or even the heat of the sun baking the land until it cracks. Heat changes rock. It fractures veins, makes stone brittle, and opens pathways that once sealed gold inside. Over centuries, cycles of heat and cold, expansion and contraction, break apart host rock, freeing the gold little by little. When rain arrives, it washes those freed particles downhill, feeding streams, filling valleys, and leaving golden traces scattered in the soil. The mountain does the mining, the storm does the crushing, and the river completes the refining. All of it without human hands. If you've ever walked through an eroded canyon, you've seen the evidence. Boulders split open by heat, quartz veins exposed like scars on the surface, and patches of soil rich with minerals that look darker, heavier, almost magnetic. These are natural furnaces at work, creating channels through which gold escapes its prison. You don't need a pickaxe. You don't need explosives. The earth has already done the work, slowly, patiently, in ways more precise than any machine could replicate. But even more fascinating is how wind and time contribute. Dust storms sweep across dry lands, lifting lighter sands into the sky while leaving behind heavier particles that refuse to move. Among those survivors is gold. Over hundreds of years, winds strip landscapes bare, erasing the cover and leaving behind golden crumbs that gleam under the sun. In deserts where rivers no longer flow, wind becomes the new river, separating the worthless from the valuable. To the untrained eye, the ground may look barren, but those who know the secret understand. Where the soil is scoured and the lighter grains are gone, the stubborn glitter of gold often remains. Another part of nature's method lies in black sands, the quiet clue prospectors often overlook. Without a pan, you can still see them. Black sands are iron-rich, heavier than ordinary grains, and they act as natural companions to gold. Wherever these sands collect, there is a chance that tiny flecks of gold lie hidden among them. In fact, some of the world's richest deposits were first hinted at by nothing more than dark sandbars glistening in the sun. The trick requires no equipment, just eyes trained to recognize the subtle signs left by the earth. And once you spot them, you realize you've stepped into a natural concentration zone, a place where gravity, water, and density have already done the refining. Of course, the story doesn't end there. Imagine a hillside scarred by landslides. As rocks tumble, the lighter materials scatter far and wide, while heavier elements, like gold, remain lodged in cracks, trapped in soil pockets, or exposed in newly broken veins. The landslide itself becomes nature's mining event, revealing treasures that may have been hidden for thousands of years. When you walk across such terrain after heavy rain or shifting earth, 
You might see tiny flashes in the dirt, evidence of nature's own excavation. Without shovels, without drills, the mountain itself tears open and delivers the gold. Nature also uses freezing and thawing as silent tools. In colder regions, water seeps into cracks of quartz and other host rocks, freezes in winter and expands. That expansion pries the rock apart, fragment by fragment. With each cycle, the gold within is freed, ready to be carried away when spring melts arrive. Over centuries, this cycle repeats, breaking down entire veins and scattering golden fragments across valleys. It is a slow but unstoppable process, and the result is a natural distribution of gold that continues even now. To see it, you need only trace the trails of broken quartz scattered across hillsides, following them like breadcrumbs to where nature has already released her hidden wealth. But perhaps the most astonishing method of all is the role of soil and clay. Many think of gold as always being shiny and visible, but often it hides within fine clays that grip it tightly. Rainwater and erosion slowly wash away the clay, releasing gold into the open. In some cases, entire deposits of alluvial gold were uncovered not by miners, but by seasonal floods that stripped away layers of soil, leaving rich golden streaks behind. Farmers plowing fields, shepherds walking pastures, travelers crossing dry plains. Many stumbled upon gold simply because nature had exposed it beneath their feet. The earth itself had done the mining, waiting only for a watchful eye to claim it. To fully grasp the scale of this natural refining, think about how long it takes. Thousands of years of rain, fire, frost, wind, and erosion combined to do what a modern prospector might try to replicate in a single season. But the difference is clear. Nature wastes nothing. It sorts, concentrates, and delivers gold in ways that require no chemicals, no machines, and no tools. All it asks is that you pay attention. The bend of a river, the darkness of sand, the fracture of a hillside, the sparkle after rain. These are signs as old as time, hints left by the planet itself. The beauty of this forgotten method is that it shows us gold, not as something forced out of the earth by violence, but as something revealed by patience. The mountains collapse, the rivers carve, the winds strip, and the elements refine. And in the end, gold, the most stubborn, enduring of metals, remains. All you need to do is be there when the earth has finished her work. This is why even today, Experienced prospectors will walk landscapes without carrying heavy tools. They read the language of the land. They see how quartz veins align, how black sands pool, how river bends create traps. They watch the color of soil change, notice where vegetation struggles to grow, and mark the scars of landslides. With no pan, no pickaxe, no sluice, they can still locate gold because they understand nature's process. The earth itself is the greatest prospector, and all we must do is follow its signs. When you step into the field with this knowledge, you are no longer blindly searching. You are walking in partnership with forces that have been at work for millennia. The mountain is your miner. The river is your refiner. The wind is your separator. The frost is your crusher. The soil is your filter. Together, they form the greatest gold extraction method ever known. One that requires nothing but awareness. So the next time you wander through a canyon, climb a hillside or cross a dry desert plain, remember this. Gold doesn't always need to be extracted with tools. Sometimes the most powerful methods are those written by nature itself. And if you pay attention, if you look where the signs point, you may find yourself holding in your hand a piece of the Earth's most enduring treasure. Real gold, brought to you not by machines, but by the secret hand of nature. And as we close today's journey, remember that the earth is always whispering her secrets to those who listen closely. Gold has never truly been hidden. It has only been waiting for the right eyes to see it. Here at EGS, we don't just chase treasure. We uncover the forgotten truths of how nature herself reveals it. If you felt the thrill of discovery in this story, imagine what's still waiting just beneath your feet. Stay curious, stay relentless, and let the land guide you to its hidden wealth. This is EGS, 
where every stone turned and every secret told brings us closer to the goal that endures forever.